So let's take a look at the channel economics. In other words, how are we going to make money? So let's take a look at a direct sales example. You have a sales force and you're selling directly to the end consumer. So let's assume that the list price of your product is a hundred dollars. So one of the first questions in thinking about how to come up with this hundred dollar list price is to understand how much did it actually cost me to manufacture a product. Now in the web it might be the cost of my engineers but in a physical product it might be the costed bill of materials uh, coming out of my factory. And so let's assume for the sake of discussion that that was $33. $33 to build my product. Next, let's take a look at the costs of my R&D, that is my engineering, uh, the cost of my direct sales people, maybe commissions or direct sales compensation, and then general and administration costs, what it cost me to have leases and lunches and free snacks, and that might be another twenty dollars. And so right now it's fifty three dollars just to keep the lights on in my building. Now something we should consider is that no end user pays list price. So let's assume that this area represents a discount from the list price, let's say ten percent. That means your revenue to your company would not be a hundred dollars but ninety dollars. So wait a minute, you're getting ninety dollars but you spent a total of $53 building the product and keeping the lights on. And that leaves right in the middle how much profit you have. In this case, it would be $37. So your selling costs were embedded here. This was the commission or direct sales cost or whatever you were paying. Your direct sales people and you made $37 selling directly. 